this grow its friend shape and then what that's not it's locked stop you violated the law mm -hmm. How y'all doing? This is Travi J from Travi J Space. Thank you for tuning in to episode two of our Let's Play here in the Haunted Mansion, Haunted Victoria Mansion, playing Nancy Drew, Message in a Haunted Mansion. Came out in 2000, going back to 2021 years ago. All right, got your tea? Check. Blanket? Check. You comfortable? Good. Let's get started. All right. So we left off here. Actually, I don't remember why I was leaving the kitchen. Um, we do need to go back in the kitchen. Not because I need to. I think I still need to talk to Rose Green about some stuff. But she wanted me to do um, some tile inlay. Now, I don't necessarily know. Like, I've scanned in this corner. And there's not really much going on there. So I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, here we go. I actually see the birds. Aha. Aha, uh -huh. peekaboo, I see you. Well, this should be easy. Oh, you know what, I love these puzzles. These kind of puzzles are my favorite. Um, let's see here. Oh, this one is very particular. They want it right in the crevice, right there. Oh, okay. All right, okay, so far so good, so far so good. What's this one? Stick this, and put it there, and put it there like that. Oh, this is, done we're done oh, wait that's a little a little off and isn't it isn't it now what the hell that doesn't look right at all it's not gonna work oh and i still have a piece oh because of the head of the bird i didn't even think of that okay so we got issues over here we've got plenty of issues okay let's get this right in the corner let's get this aha there we go there we go and a drum roll please i did it yay good work girlfriend good work nance got this oh, that looks so much better now they all look the same oh rose you'll be happy how's that inlay puzzle <clears throat> coming along <laughs> I should just try to lie to her right now, right to her face. You can literally see the, the finished inlay behind her. I should just say, okay, but I still haven't finished it. <laughs> okay, but I still haven't finished it. Don't work too hard. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a shit. I'm such a shit. Okay, let's 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 tell her the truth. She's look at her, she's like are you gonna sit there and giggle at me all day or what? How's that inlay puzzle coming along? All done, girl. I finished it. Wonderful. But now I've got something else for you. Oh. I set up okay. a ladder upstairs so you can chip I'm off the broken paid, tiles right? on the hallway ceiling. You'll need to look around for a chisel or paint Ooh. scraper for the job. I'm not sure where Charlie keeps them. Oh, looks like we're gonna meet Charlie, everybody. That's the next place I would like to go. Find that scraper. He's, I'm I sure he's got a scraper. Busy. I'll let you go. Thanks he's for your a, help. He's a uh, construction worker, carpenter. I'm pretty sure he should know. Okay, Mr. Charlie. Oh, we gotta go to the basement. I don't want to go to the basement. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do it. But we gotta go. Oof. You know, I can almost like. Oh, hey, Charlie. I can almost smell like what this would smell like. Do you guys understand what I mean? Like, as I come down these stairs, I feel like I can smell all this musky, oh, like old wood, and a, a certain vibe with a chill down your spine. Ooh. And with 
the music. I feel like there's a cold breeze. Oh, very creepy. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. She's really trying. Listen to her voice. It's stuck. It sounds like she's got one foot up on the piano, two hands on both those knobs, and she's just tugging. It's stuck. Okay, sorry. I won't make you tug no more. Let's just get down to business here. Oh. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to play the piano. We're going to learn some piano, y'all. Eventually. I'm not sure exactly what any of that's for. Now, is there anything over here? Oops. Ooh. Bed and breakfast on the res. The Bay Area has experienced increase in the number of registered bed and breakfasts. According to Betsy Hamilton, director of the B&B Association of San Francisco, more and more travelers who visit our city are seeking a more personal lodging experience. The Bay Area has many alternative accommodations in addition to traditional hotels. But with the increased entries in B&Bs comes increased competition. We have actually seen decline in business over the last couple of years, says Roderick J.H. Oh, <laughs> yes, Roderick sounds like a man. I did not sound like a man. My apologies, Mr. Thornton. Well, this is interesting. So it seems like, um... It seems like what I'm getting from this article is that there are, uh, there's like a decrease of, of, hmm, increase the number of registered bread and breakfast is according. Well, they all don't seem like they could be that profit. It's, it seems like a gamble. It seems like building a Victorian bread and breakfast right now is on the rise, but it's not a guaranteed profit. So it sounds like a risk. Is it all worth it, Charlie? Should you keep staining that board? Hi, you must be Nancy. My name's Charlie. Ooh. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Whoa, so many options here. He's so cute. Hi, Charlie. You must have a lot of experience to work on such a big house. <laughs> Rose told me there's been a lot of accidents lately. We can get down to business, but... No, nice to meet you. That's that's manners. Very nice polite. Nice to meet you. Rose and Abby really have their hands full with this house. Yeah, most of these Victorian mansions need a lot of work, but I don't mind getting my hands dirty. You know, this place will look great once it's finished. Oh, good optimism. I'm sure you will get it done very soon. There's no more accidents these days. I can see that. But what do you like to do when you're not renovating Victorian mansions? I guess I could have mentioned the Any accidents. hobbies? Well, I'm taking classes at the local community college. I really like history. That's why it's neat oh. to live. I, I mean, work here. Because everything is so old. Oh. It's got a real character. Wait, hold on. Live or work? It sounded like he said li he did. It's neat to live. I, I, I mean, work here. Mm-hmm. What was that about? Are you sleeping here? Are you broke? What's the truth? Something's not right there. But I do love a man that, that appreciates history. He's got a... He's, like, I'm on his good, he's on my good side, okay? I don't suspect him very much. I mean, look at that smile. However, I can't put the cursor up there, but those eyes, those, the squint, tells me there might be something else going on with this handsome devil of a man. <sighs> well... Rose told me that there have been a lot of accidents lately. What do you think is causing them? I have no idea. People are blaming me, but it's not my fault. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do this work. Listen, Nancy, I really need to get back to work. I'm repairing some floorboards, so be careful walking around. Rose was looking for you earlier. Maybe she has something for you to do. See ya. Well, uh, hey, hey, I wasn't finished. You know, for your information, Rose sent me down here to come to you for a scraper. So... Ugh, ripped. Oh, I got up his butt. Crawled up his butt and laid an egg. Oh, look at this old newspaper article. Scandal, horror, outrage. 
Citing the increased popularity of stage reviews and decreased charitable contributions, the Ladies Protection Society has announced a shocking new strategy for raising much-needed funds for the benefit of widows and orphans in our region. No longer will the good ladies of our society hold garden parties, afternoon teas or cakewalks to solicit contributions. Instead, these proper wives, daughters and mothers will act on stage like common trepidors in several popular plays in order to raise money for their good works. As decent gentlemen, we should not allow the fair sex to degenerate themselves. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> Denigrate. Denigrate? Denigrate themselves to this level of vulgarity. Women belong in the home, not upon the stage. Well. Well. Can we get a year on this paper? Yeah, it's definitely old. Women do not belong on the stage. Well, these people didn't meet Madonna yet, did they? Anyways, incredible though that he's got all these old documents. He must really love history. I'm, I'm assuming all the stuff that's all about here is from Charlie getting sidetracked with the history rather than the work. Sounds like something I would do. <laughs> I should wait until he leaves. Oh, okay. I mean, I should wait until he leaves. It's not like that's his property. I get he's working there, but we could. Sh there's enough room there to shimmy by. Much room, more than enough. I should wait until he leaves. Wait until he leaves. Okay. So, no luck with the scraper. I gotta keep my eyes peeled for a scraper. Oh, a dumb waiter. The rope is cut. Well, now who would do such a thing? Now, unless it dropped, I could be, could be just misidentifying that situation. It could have dropped, could be some heavy on there, maybe um, overestimated the weight maximum on that thing. However, that does look a little deliberate, that cut, but anyways. Yeah, we leave it to speculation, I believe. Okay. I just don't like the f my, any feeling when I'm in this house. Like, every time I click somewhere to go, I get scared. Oh, such a chill. Oh, there's the scraper. Perfect. Perfect. So, she wants me to go upstairs with the scraper, I believe. Maybe. Oh. Ooh. Okay, we've got some creaky steps. Let's note that before I freak out. Aha, okay, I saw the ladder over here. So I this... need a paint scraper. And that we have, girlfriend. Don't you worry, we just found one. We are gonna go ahead and give this... Oh. oh. It's locked. It's locked. There we go, the famous punchline. It's locked. I've been waiting, been waiting for the first locked entry here to say that. It's locked. Oh yeah, iconic. It's not Nancy Drew without, it's locked. The original, it's locked. Anywho, wait, where am I going now? Oh, because I lost the keys, right? Or I don't have the keys, rather. It's locked. Yes. So, we haven't really been down this hallway, though, yet. Nancy, I oh. see you've arrived safely from your long journey, but I'm sensing an aura of danger around you. I can tell you're an inquisitive type, a little skeptical, and that you don't believe in ghosts. Uh, now hold on, you... How, how do you know I don't believe in ghosts? Exactly right. <laughs> I know many things. I know how to communicate with the spirits, and I know things about people that they don't tell me. Call it intuition or ESP. The spirits in this house are interested in you, especially since you don't believe in them. Watch out. They may give you a rough time just to get your attention. Oops. Hmm. <laughs> now that's clever. Does your intuition tell you who could be behind these recent accidents? Does your intuition tell you who could be behind these recent accidents? I'm not Good sure, question. but for some reason the Calling name Valdez in. has a strong connection with this mansion. Valdez. Oh, okay. Significant name. We'll, we'll keep that in mind. See any more articles lying around? Perhaps a good book? I haven't been to the library yet. We haven't been there. Hmm. Do you have any more information on Mr. Valdez? No, if you will please excuse me, I need to prepare myself for this w evening. At that time, more will be revealed. Um. Oh. Um. Oh, okay. All right. You, um. Um. You enjoy yourself then. Oh, we 
got another creepy hallway. Oh, I don't like that. Just that crack alone and these... No, I don't like this. This was probably a secret uh, pathway in its original style. Like, I bet you this was closed off. Yeah. For the... Um, the staff of the house. Okay, so I've scraped it off. So we need to tell Rose. Now that was interesting, that Abby girl. I'm sorry, we didn't really recap there, review her. She was a very interesting character, wasn't she? She's not really paying attention much to the things that are going on. I mean, she's co-investor with Rose Green um, in this property to turn it into a profitable business, a bed and breakfast. So if you are so concerned about making that profit and making a business out of this place, then why aren't you so concerned about the accidents that are taking place in said establishment? Doesn't make sense. She's letting her spirituality get in the way of things, but maybe that's deliberate. Hmm. We shall see. Just a thought. Okay, Rose. How are the tiles coming along? Uh <laughs> Once again, I can fuck. <laughs> I can fuck with Rose. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't be a nuisance. Like, that, that's why I was still working on them. <laughs> oh, honesty is the best policy, but that's hilarious. That is just so... F look at that look in her eye, too. She's not fucking around. She's like, listen, I have been punching in these co these percentages all day. I need to know how much we're making and how much we're going to need to get these renovations underway. So if you're going to waste my time, well, you should just go right back on to River Heights. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, Rose, sorry, sorry. I'm all finished, <laughs> but you should know what I found. I'm sure it's very interesting, but unless it's really important, I've got other things to worry about. Let's see. Like all these If you're any good at fixing things, there's a dumbwaiter in the hallway that's not working. Uh, yes, I got a very good look at it. It's quite incapacitated. <laughs> How did you find Charlie? How did you find Charlie? He just showed How up one day. How did you find Charlie? It was Charlie? really odd. She said I remember so Abby sweet. and I were in the basement talking like about little... hiring someone to help us. Oh, 20 bad. minutes later, the doorbell rang and there stood Charlie, looking for work. Hmm. How did you meet Abby? She was the drama coach like back you pulled in River Heights. And we worked on a couple of plays together. My bid on this house was too low, so she pitched in her savings to help me get the place. If it weren't for Abby, I couldn't have afforded this place. Aha. Okay, very interesting as well. So there's the proof. There's the validation that this girl has no right, Abby, I'm meaning, not Rose, that she has no right to be playing, you know, oh, there's ghosts and blah, 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 and, you know, this and that are going on. Like, you would think she'd practically think about if she dipped in all of her savings to help bring this uh, project to fruition. Does she take that a little more seriously, these accidents, as a little more than just spiritual paranormal stuff? I don't know. I'd rule that out first before I started jumping to my spiritual conclusions. You know what I'm saying? So that was a good little piece of tidbit there. Thank you. She is very sus. Abby is very sus. What is Abby planning for tonight? She's oh. putting on some kind of seance tonight to contact <gasps> these ghosts or whatever she thinks is causing oh. all of these accidents. God. Oh. I can see you're busy. Sounds I'll let like you go. Fun. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, I haven't found a key yet, so I don't know who to talk to. I guess I should go into the parlor. We haven't been into the parlor, have we? Ah. Big phoenix in the floor. Clocks are going. I love the decor in here. Like, I just love this. I want this house. I want this house in real life. It's my dream home right here. Other than these potential hauntings. <laughs> oh, well, this is a cute little parlor, too. Look at this. Oh, yes, so we can. Wow, it's surprising we've been playing this long and I still haven't come across the telephone yet. Um, we can use this to go dial a friend. Hello, Bess is at home with George. And then I think if we call home, we'll call Hannah, um, Nancy's housekeeper. And Emily, I'm not sure who Emily is. I'm not sure. We don't need to call anyone at the moment. I'm not stumped or anything. We'll check in with our friends in a minute and get to the bottom of all that. But for right now, perhaps we can find some information in here. 
about this place? Oh, hello. Telephone companies. Oh. Auction property dishes has been accepted. Fee simple estate, faithfully yours, Jean Metzer. Dear sir, okay, but who? Who, who, who? Hmm. Interesting. There's no name directed on that. Um, it's good to know it's here. Oh, yeah. Shit. Good to know it's there. Well, okay. It's there for a reason. In this pretty old cupboard for me to come all the way to the corner of the room just to point out for you to, to vocally uh, observe. Definitely going to have to put out a fire at one point. Let's just make that clear right now. <laughs> That's a must. Okay. Okay. So, it's definitely haunted in here. This is a haunted house. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm about to run for the motherfucking door. I want to get the hell out of here. Oh, okay. That was spooky as shit. Spooky as shit. It's not gonna happen again. Yeah, I don't like that. I really don't like that. What's over here? Some webs. Oh, I don't even like walking around here. I feel like something else is gonna pop out at me. Subterranean in San Francisco. Many people have fascinating stories to tell. There's only one twenty years from the somebody accidents or going through the structures of the Wait, you can't even go to the next page, can you? Oh well. Well, that was an interesting read. Gosh, just just gripping, absolutely gripping. Oh, here we are in the library. Ah, bring forth character number four, Mr. Lewis Chandler, I believe. Hello. I was so wrapped up in my book, I didn't hear you come in. My name is Lewis Chandler. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm Nancy Drew. Kind of. I came out to help Rose and Abby with Soft. the renovations. Yes, well, I'm very glad you're here. Hmm. Are you a friend of Rose? Are you a friend of Rose? Yes, I like to think so, but I'm an antique dealer and a client told me that Rose and Abby had recently acquired the estate. I'm an authority on the Victorian era, so they were only too happy to let me use the library in exchange for my advice on the renovations. Okay, so complete side note. Um, <laughs> side note, he just up the list past Charlie for attractive on my list because Charlie adorable great with his hands probably does great construction work and can probably whip this house into shape and loves history but this guy ooh, he's giving me silver fox vibes he's got that kind eye like you know he's an old soul and he's talking about how he is an ambassador for the Victorian era I mean Oh, oh, sorry, right here. I'm an authority on the Victorian era. Ooh, hello, honey. Oh, jeez, this ring finger is looking awfully empty. <laughs> Anyways, back to work. Side note, over. You must know a lot about the house's history. Actually, I'm a bit in the dark about this particular property. However, oh. as far as Victorian <laughs> mansions so go, I don't see history. anything remarkable about this one. Well, that seems kind of unfair. Maybe a little bias if you don't know the full story. Abby thinks the mansion is haunted. Does she? There have been documented cases of hauntings in older mansions. And I might okay. add, not all of the hauntings <gasps> were by friendly spirits. What are you using the library for? Research. This library yeah, contains many rare okay, books and cool. documents that predate the Great <laughs> Earthquake. It was quite a find for a student of the Victorian period, such as myself. Ooh, a student of the Victorian period. Well, uh, you can be the teacher today. <clears throat> uh, what do you think could be causing the accidents? What oh, do yeah. you think could be the cause of this these accidents yes, yes. Rose has been having? Accidents? 
I know Rose has mentioned some inconveniences like that wall covering and the light supplies, but I would hardly call those accidents. I'm sorry, but I'm quite busy at the moment, and although I'd like to talk, I really don't have the time. Please, excuse me. Every, nobody wants to talk. <laughs> nobody wants to talk in this building. Everyone is hiding some shit. Everyone in here is hiding secrets. I know it. He's got his secrets. Abby won't speak to me. She wants to hum a dum dum all day long. Oh. The phone's ringing. Oh. Oh. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Oh, my hairs are standing up. Did you guys hear that? That wasn't even... Oh, I've got goose pimples. <laughs> Ew, I did not like that. Is someone prank calling the house? Like, I don't understand that. These spears are strong if they're haunting the phone. And then we had that violin accident. <gasps> are you fucking kidding me? Oh, be still my beating heart. Please tell me, rewind by five, ten seconds if you didn't see that. This swan just decided to bow its head out of this thing. Talk about creepy, okay? Talk about disturbing. The wooden decorative creatures in the house are coming alive. That's just wonderful. And I'm getting calls from strange animatronic sounding malfunction. Uh, voices. <laughs> Kill me now. Ugh. Well, everyone is acting sus up here. No one wants to talk. I'm getting haunted already. I mean, like, haunted up in this. <gasps> oh! <sighs> Guys, this isn't funny. <sighs> Okay, I lied earlier when I did the tea blanket comfortable check. I didn't have my blanket. So I have my robe like right up to my chin. <laughs> that was scary as fuck. You heard, you saw that shit. That was like a freaking. I mean, that could have been a human. I guess I waited too long to check. But where would they go? I don't. Oh. Okay, I feel safe and comfortable in the kitchen with Rose. Hello, Rose. <sighs> okay, this is now the safe area. If something goes off and I need to run, I am coming to the kitchen with Rose Green. How you doing, girl? Let me get a cup of tea because we need to sit and chat. I have seen some shit. <sighs> Where Man. did Abby find those papers oh. in the parlor? Like, she told really? me they were in her room. Which surprised me since it was completely empty when we moved in. Oh. Now the room you're staying in was crammed with furniture. I think most of it was original with the house. Wow. So I guess if the bed and breakfast doesn't work out, all the furniture would cash in a pretty cozy profit, I would think, in an auction. How do you Just know Lewis? He stopped by one day to introduce himself. He seemed awfully curious about our property. But he's an antique dealer specializing in the Victorian period. He's been extremely helpful advising us on authentic decor. Hmm. Just showed up one day. I mean, that, that, that's a little suspicious. I understand he's, he's a uh, authoritative, authoritative figure in the Victorian period, and he's a student of said era as well. But you're in San Francisco. There are tons of Victorian houses all around you. And you even said your yourself, the, you said, he said himself particularly that the history here isn't quite as exquisite as many others, or that much didn't really happen here. So why would he be that drawn in to come in and nestle himself in the library with strangers, but not do the research that he's there apparently with the passion to do? Hmm. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. But if... He's helping with the decor. I mean, yeah, that's a reach, though, even to make that into some light. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Bye, Nancy. Oh, bye, Rose. She is so sweet, and I am loving that outfit. Can we please bring back the style? Like, I mean, come on. Rose Green is the epitome of good taste, fashion taste. Look at this girl. Like, I'm sure she's got a freaking... Um, flip phone up in this purse right here and she probably throws the calculator in the purse oh man 2000 
What a good time. Well, I think this is a perfect spot here to end our episode together, folks. Uh, wow. I don't know what to say. I'm like petrified. I'm, I'm scarred right now. I'm a little shaken up. This episode scared the shit out of me. Terrified me. That was, that was like uncalled for on every level. So this place is absolutely haunted. And if there is someone human behind it, you know, I really don't care. There are still ghosts up in this place <laughs> because that is unexplainable AF. Boom. Boom. That's it. It's it, no. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Who do you think is up to this? I mean, Abby's pretty suspicious. Like I said, she doesn't seem to really care about her investment. And when it comes to money and investing in a huge property like this, where you have to actually pitch with someone else in order to actually uh, um, acquire the property, that's a pretty significant and life-changing investment. So if you're going to take it as lightly as to just let the accidents happen and to treat them funnily enough to pass them off as spiritual behavior, paranormal, freaky shit... Mm, that doesn't really that doesn't vibe no it doesn't work it doesn't click charlie sweet innocent i think he's a sweetheart <laughs> cute little history uh, history history student liking the, enjoying the history here and, and renovating and stuff putting the two together i think that's pretty cool and he doesn't seem all that suspicious but no one wants to talk so he does have a little bit of suspiciousness to him rose green girl she is fire i love this woman and everyone should be like Rose Green. Rose Green for president, 2024. Where is she these days? How is she now? I hope she's still wearing the same outfit. <laughs> and lastly, Louie. Louie, Louie, Louie. What are you up to, Louie? Because I know you're a Victorian major and we just discussed all this, but your explanation doesn't really stand up either. Why are you isolating yourself deep in the library? It takes a couple rooms just to get there. You're pretty, like, standoff. So, I don't know. doesn't sit well with me. All right, folks. Discuss. Think. Provoke. <laughs> provoke your mind to think some more. And we will return here, and we will figure a little more. And I have a sneaking suspicion we are going to be a part, uh, involuntarily part of a seance shortly. Because of Miss Abby and her superstitious paranormal beliefs. I think there's a ghost chanting here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright folks, try to sleep tonight. I know I'll definitely give it a good effort. And uh, we will see you next time. Take care. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you soon. Howdy, folks. Did you like that video? Well, then why don't you go ahead and give that thumbs up a smackaroo. Don't want to miss out on the next episode? Give the subscribe button some love and make sure to turn your notifications on. That way I can give you a bell a ring, let you know dinner is served. Still need more to chew on? Take a bite of my new YouTube Instagram account at Travi J Space to keep up to date with the channel's inner workings and news of upcoming projects and episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.